In today's digital world, it's not an obvious choice to make a manual film painted on paper. But I think materiality, with the mistakes of the human hands, evokes so many emotions that were really important to express in this film. The process of animation, for me, it was very new. I think it's very particular to Tao, to her voice. We combined real documentary footage and actors as a reference for the characters in the film. The actors had to imagine things that were not there and would only appear later in the animation. So we did a lot of games to imagine things and bring them closer to the moment they had to act. And the process was we animated lines with some parts of video and we animated also a blue area and directions for the stains. So we could blend everything together, our lines that were animated, the acrylic stain and the video. It's so unique <laughs> as a technique, picking only like a few parts of the face or, or only the hands and it's like pieces of memory that we get from a situation. Working with collage and letter to a pig was part of the narrative of the film to build a human brain process. We're not even sure sometimes is it real wood, is it acrylic. Sometimes it's something that I just found on the street, sometimes it was in an archive. I felt that it's something that creates a wounded language inside the film. We begin our journey in Letter to a Pig inside the class, which is almost a white limbo. As we dive deeper into the subconscious part of the film, we go through the forest, which is actually the in-between world. There's black and white, black and white, as the trees are spread inside this void. And we have more materials and we have some collages from trees and different leaves. And these two opposites, where they leave this white emptiness and they are standing in front of this big black condensed house. We go to the subconscious part of the film and you really feel that they are moving to another gate. It's a complicated and long production process with many stages and layers. There were around 40 people working on this short film. Some highlight for me was very disconnection with the team. Working with Tao from Israel, Teresa from Portugal, Anne from France and, and me from Brazil. We worked for half a year together in the cyclic residency in France and it's not just their heart and soul, they're actually physically in the film as we used their fingerprints to show the different kids in the class. We had no idea how technically complex it would be to achieve such a graphical result. I'm seeing that this is one of the most, or maybe the most complicated and multi-layered production pipeline we had at Mio. But after several years of intense work, we finally do it and Tal finally do it. And I remember seeing the finished film and saying to myself, Wow, it was worth it.